friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How you doing this morning? I am uh, working on my December daily before I go to work today. So welcome to my channel. Uh, this is for day number five. And I am, just as a reminder, doing my own thing, having fun, and my pages aren't sewn in yet. <laughs> so I'm just uh, one of that flexibility. And uh, also I'm using my December daily to use up some of my things that I have sitting around here that uh, maybe some of them have I've had for a long time and I want to use them up and I'm also an idea I had was to use my December daily to experiment with like uh, I kind of would like to do this in my journals that I make for my Etsy shop but I've never done it before and maybe I don't know how it's going to look I can experiment in my December daily and you know <laughs> Uh, the uh, truth is that I can uh, experiment and if I don't like it I can take that page out I because my pages aren't sewn in I can take that page out and throw it away right <laughs> so anyway I pulled out these these are some more of these little pieces that were in my 2006 scrapbook kit that I've had for a long time and it's the same kit as where I got the snowman okay so I thought I'd use these today on day number five, December 5th. Uh, nothing great or, well, I mean, I had a, a great day, but nothing like <clears throat> happened. Like I didn't get happy mail or I didn't get a Christmas card. I didn't buy a new ornament. I didn't get anything new for my journal. And that's not my goal. My goal is to use things that I already have and not buy anything. Really, I don't need to buy anything. I've gathered a few scraps over here in case I want to cut something up and decorate something. But today I'm using this. It's a frame and here's another little piece I thought I'd put in the middle. It's on a piece of my lined, uh, you know, cranberry paper, which is made from a composition book. It has a fold out right here. I'll save that for the other side though. So um, I'm going to put it down a little bit so I can write the date up here. I haven't used it. I didn't show you my green glitter pen. I showed you, I, show, I think I showed you the other three, three. I don't know, but anyway, there's silver, red, gold, and green. Did I use my green the other day? I think I used my red and gold. So today I want to use my green and see what it looks like. And of course, it's on this paper. So let's see. I'm going to write 12, 5, 19 up here. See if I have something to experiment on here. Make sure it writes. Uh, yeah, okay, it's writing good. <laughs> Put that back over there. 12, 5, 19. So I didn't rush into making this. Like, I'm actually doing this on December 6th morning. I could have done it last night, but I wanted to work on something else. <clears throat> Plus, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do and then this just this morning I thought wouldn't it be fun to write down since this is still the beginning of December wouldn't it be fun to write down uh, things that got got me because I kind of I like I'm really in the Christmas spirit mood and mood this year so because I remember last year like I didn't feel like listening to Christmas music the beginning of December so like, why? Why do I want to listen to Christmas music right now? So <laughs> I'm going to write down, I think, like I'm going to have this here. It's going to be simple. I'm going to have this here. Like I want to use up these pieces. And I think it's pretty. And I'm going to write down here some things that got me in the Christmas mood and see how it goes. I don't know if I'll have enough room to write everything down here, but I'm going to try to, try to write a lot here and make it short and sweet like not like really elaborate but just short you know there's one two three four five six seven or basically eight if i want to eight lines down here or spaces that i can write eight things depending on how i write if one thing takes up a whole line i could write two columns if uh you know i do you know three letter or three word phrases. So anyway, let's glue this down. I'm going to use my glitter glue and then I will have used up another piece of my old scrapbook kit. 
and I used glitter glue on the snowman and he is nice and glued down and that was you know December 4 I guess I did that two days ago so this is actually uh like this kit this these pieces right here are uh, let's see is it two I think it's two separate pieces where I could punch these out and use these separately they're kind of like punch outs but I'm using them together because I think they look nice together so and there's space on this page you know this page is big enough so that will that will dictate what you do on your page so let's just get thin layer of glue all over this and I'm gonna make sure I got my edges and corners and my edges are around here they're in the middle look good okay so let's glue it down when I first saw that I had a cranberry page, of course I can move it around, but I was like, oh, cranberry. <laughs> what am I going to do on my cranberry page? <laughs> but I laid this down and I thought, well, that looks really pretty. So it's kind of neat to experiment with. I mean, I use these pages in my journals and I don't know if I've ever actually used one of these cranberry pages in my own journal. So I was kind of, you know, I thought it was kind of neat to experiment with it and see what, you know, people that are getting my journals experience with the cranberry paper. And I call it cranberry paper because of the color, but it was actually dyed with some writ dye that I have, burgundy writ dye. <clears throat> but when it uh, became Christmas, you know, season, I started calling it cranberry paper for Christmas, so... Just in case you haven't heard me explain that before, that's what cranberry paper is all about. <laughs> it's just for Christmas. It's a seasonal name. <laughs> I don't think I'll call it cranberry Christmas, cranberry paper after Christmas. But I'm going to put this little Santa. I got him all good around the edges, so he's going in the middle here. I thought that was neat, and so you could see the cranberry paper through, you know, the frame here around the edges. I thought that was cool. I've got the wreath. There's a wreath right here that I punched out that I have here somewhere on my table. I actually don't see it right now, but it is. Oh, here it is right beside me. That's the little wreath that was punched out of right here. So I'll put that somewhere else. I have some little Christmas trees somewhere. I can't find those either. They're here. They were here, but now they're not here. I don't know where they went. I don't think I used them. But that's what I debated on whether to use the Christmas trees today or this. But when I laid this down, it looks so good. I thought, well, let me just go ahead and use this piece. I want to use it up. So I'm not going to make you watch me write. But there you go. That page is done. Unless I decide to put something else on there. But I'm going to write down here uh, off camera. And then that page will be done. So, you know, that's just uh, my thoughts on... You know, don't rush into it like, oh, d December 5th is over and now I'm behind. Don't don't panic. <laughs> Just, you know, when the inspiration hits you, uh, you know, just go ahead and do it. Don't don't have to. You don't have to do it on, on the day. And uh, so now, since this was yesterday's page, and I'm going to do this off camera. Let's go ahead and turn over to day number six, which is today, December 6th. Okay, and I'm going to write the, go ahead and write the date up here again in the green glitter pen. <clears throat> 12, 6, I kind of want to write some of the days out, you know, instead of the numbers, write December instead of 12. I'm going to do that on this page, I think. I want to see how it looks, too. Like I said, I'm experimenting in here, kind of to see how things look. So let's write December 6th. <laughs> We're going to be daring. Write the whole month out. December 6th, 2019. There we go. I like it. 
Okay, so what do I want to do on December 6th? Day number 6. So exciting. Okay, uh, December 6th. Let's put this on here. I don't want these to dry out. Uh, I wanted to make some Christmas trees. I wanted to experiment with Christmas Christmas trees. In this paper, I have a bunch of this uh, scraps from this paper I'm using in my current Christmas journals that I'm making, you know, for my Etsy. So, uh, will they look good here? I think they'll look good here. I have to worry about this flap. So, do I want to start here? Do I want to start under the flap? No. Do I want to put one on the flap? Well, that one's too big. Do I want to use it like this? Or do I want to put a trunk on here? I think, you know, in order to make it look more like a tree, I want to put a trunk on here. So let's get some of my scraps over here. I've got this one. Oh, this would be a perfect little scrap to make a trunk out of. Uh, I might have to cut it down a little bit. Let's make some trunks. I, don't, I want it all to be different pieces, you know what I mean? Not the same pieces, so I used that piece. And how tall do I want my trunk? I think this is probably a little bit too tall. <laughs> too tall. I need a shorter trunk. Okay, let's cut it in half. Just having fun. Remember, this is all for fun. My journal. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> My December daily. Oh, I like that. That's the perfect size. Okay, let's glue this down because uh, this was the first one, so the next ones will all play off of this one. And I'm just going to make however many I can fit across the bottom here and see what it looks like. Who knows? I might end up putting Christmas trees all over the whole page. <laughs> okay, so the trunk fits there. The Christmas tree fits here. Good way to use up your scraps, make little Christmas trees, okay? <laughs> Here's the trunk. I'm gonna put him right here. I want a space in between. I think I want a space in between. I just saw that on the paper and it looked good. So a space in between the tree and the trunk right here. So wipe off the extra glue. There we go. Number one done. Here's another scrap. Here's a scrap I got throw in the trash. Okay, Christmas tree number two. Now how I made this one, and I don't know if I need to do that every time, but anyway, I'm going to do it. I wanted a different size. So uh, I'm trying to think of, uh, I don't want to, I don't know if I want to, I guess I will, I'll just do it. <laughs> it's a scrap, so I'm trying to, I was trying to think if I want to fold this whole thing in half or cut a strip and then fold it in half. This is how I've been making my Christmas trees. So this one I want a different size than this one. So let's make our triangle like, I want to make it tall and skinny. How about that? Tall and skinny. That would be cool. Awesome. <laughs> Tall and skinny, okay. Now I wanna make a different colored trunk. So here's another piece. I'm gonna cut a little, I want some color on it, so I'm gonna cut, cut where there's color. Let's use this right here, this looks cute. And the trunk can be about the same size as the other one. I'm gonna use this one as a format. It doesn't have to be exactly the same size, but I'm using because we cut that other piece in half, so it should be about the size of this. I'm going to use this as a little format here. It's tiny. It's tiny. Okay. Here we go. All right. Some glue. Doesn't take much because this is a tiny piece. Now, this one's going right up to the trunk. I'm just going to leave it, not worry about leaving a space in between. 
they can each be different because Christmas trees are all different. Oh, I didn't glue that down yet. Okay. Why is it coming up? I didn't glue it down yet. That's why. <laughs> okay. Tree number two. Yeah, I wanted to do this to see what these Christmas trees look like. Actually, now I can put a space. So I was thinking I glued that down. Okay. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. So we used this paper. Now here's another pattern that we can use. Let's make one more. I think that can only fit one more there. So let's fold this make our next Christmas tree and this one is going to be yet another size so I'll make it a little fatter maybe a little short one a tiny one would that look cute a tiny one down here okay smaller but I don't want it to be like that because that's kind of tiny. I want it to be tinier than that. So let's see. About like this. Okay. Use that. Oh, it's a little bit too wide. It's going to go over to the next. It's going to go over to the next thing. Okay, let's cut it down a little bit. Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can cut it down. Okay, there we go. That fits. It'll be down here like that because it's so small. Cool. Now a trunk out of different paper. Let me see. What have I used? I haven't used this one. Well, my trunk doesn't have to be folded. Okay, I'm going to just cut it this time, not worry about the format. Glue these down. I'm going to glue my trunk first, make sure I have enough room for my trunk. Well, I want to glue the paper first because I don't want the trunk to be in the wrong space. Spot. So about right there. I can always cut my trunk down if it's too long. My tree trunk. <laughs> Okay, I'll put him right here. Yeah, I want to see how these look because I kind of thought about this, Make, making Christmas trees out of paper like this, and I didn't know, never done it. So I want to see how it looks. So this is a perfect place to experiment and see what they look like, these little trees. Do they look like trees? <laughs> okay, so these, um, my thoughts are, I like these two the best. This one's a little short, but I still like it for my journal, it's fine. What am I gonna put up here? I have no idea, but I have this frame. It doesn't go with that paper though, I don't think. These are different colors than this red, traditional red and green, and these are like burgundy, and you can see the colors there. So maybe I need to stick with this paper. I have a little thing I cut out. Last night I was experimenting. Oh, here's a little season's greetings. I can use that somewhere. That's from a card. I cut out that from cut that out from a Christmas card. I like recycling Christmas cards here. Oh, uh, I've got this piece right here I cut out last night. I was just trying to see what it looked like if I this was a piece, you know piece of scrapbook paper and I had circles on it and I just cut around the circles to see what that looked like. It matches this paper. It's from the same paper pack. Now this says this is red so I don't know if that really goes so I might not use that here. 
I like this, but do I want it here? Do I want it here? Do I want it on this page at all? I think it looks neat, and I can do something with it. I just don't know. Uh, so what else do I have? I put a bunch of stuff over here that, uh, you know, were possibilities because I didn't know exactly what I was doing this morning. This is a page that could possibly go here from a book. The colors are nice. I thought I might cut something out here, like this whole scene, but uh, I'll show you what I was thinking. And I'm kind of figuring it, figuring it out right now, too. There's a wreath here, and these this family's looking up at the wreath. So this side is nothing special. So let me just cut the people out real quick. I want to see something here. Let's see how this looks. I like to cut people out of, you know, or whatever the characters out of a, out of a book. I think they look so cool when you cut them out. And even though it takes a minute, you know, it's going to take a minute here from doing this on camera, <laughs> the real time crafting, but you know, I'm going to go as quick as possible so you guys don't have to watch me cut. I mean, you could just cut around like this and leave it at that. You know what I mean? You could do that if you wanted to. If you didn't want to fussy cut something. And this little wreath here has a little bird. There's a little bird, I think. Is that a bird? It looks like a bird to me. I don't know. It looks like a bird flew in the window. Maybe that's what they're looking at. So let me cut this, the bird and the wreath out. And put that over there. So I'm not sure how I want to do this. Let's see. I'm looking up at the wreath. Do I want it on this page? It's not going to really fit. So I might use that later. I might finish. I wanted to see if it would fit for one. I thought it might fit, but it's not going to fit unless I put it under the flap. So let's just save that for later. Another page. And put something else up here. Do I have anything else that's not from? I've got these gingerbread men, but they're the traditional, almost traditional colors. So that doesn't really go. Uh, I have this, these candy canes. I wonder how those would look cut out. They're pretty small. I kind of let's let's see what one looks like cut out. I'm, I'm just curious. See, I didn't have a plan. Of course, you can tell I didn't have a plan. <laughs> but that's what this is all about, just having fun, not kind of planning out each, each page. <clears throat> so, candy cane. Cut out candy canes. How hard are they to cut out? Let's see. Not too bad so far. But... Uh, let me come at it this way. Trying to do it right as far as when you cut on a curve, you turn the paper, not the scissors, to get it as smooth a curve as possible. Which there we go. Okay, I think those would look pretty. I don't know if I really want to cut 10,000 candy canes out, though. <laughs> Not that it would take 10,000, 10, but um, it's going to take a few. <clears throat> Sorry, it's morning and my voice is waking up. So let's cut out one more candy cane. Actually, let's do this one over here. It's different. Let me see what this one looks like. I'm just going to get it off the paper and then I'll finish I'll finish fussy cutting. I just need to get it off of here in order to have more less to work with. 
<clears throat> okay, now I can cut it out quicker. Okay. Yeah, today's Friday. This week went really fast. And I, you know, you usually think it'll go slow after you're off. Like last week was, wasn't last week, week Thanksgiving. And then, so we only had three, I had a three day <clears throat> work week. And then, so after that, you always think, oh, five whole days. <laughs> or I do anyway. So, but it went like, I guess we were kind of like, making up for last week like the work we couldn't do maybe last week we had to do it this week so it was like more making up for the two days so it was like extra busy so it just like flew by Okay, here we go. See, I wanted two different colors to see what they look like. Okay, so they're going to look like that one blends in more because it's got more burgundy and this one has the blue on it. So I think that that could be something. Well, you know what? I could put them over here. Well, it, huh, do I want to turn them upside down or either every which way along the edge over here? I think that could be cute. I'm going to think about that. I'm not going to glue them down right now. It's still December 6th. It's the morning. So I don't have to glue it all down right now. Like I said, don't panic. Don't be, put yourself under pressure to get it done. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, think about that. And maybe I'll come back and let you know what I decide. But <clears throat> I've got this option of candy canes and cutting out some more candy canes. I've got the option of... Possibly gluing this down. In fact, I could, since see how this has a flat side here, I could cut out some more circles here and make this not a flat edge. I could just do this, make it more circular here. And I was kind of just well, it's kind of like going up in the middle of the circles when there's a circle with or space in between the circles, kind of going up in between the circles and then cutting around, you know, so that it would all be like fluid instead of any flat edges like this. Last night, that's what I was doing with the other part, but then I didn't, but then I didn't use it. I didn't like it where I was trying to put it, so. Okay, that could be a scrap. All right, so, hey, that actually looks kind of neat up there, kind of just a, a shape. I can turn it any way I want. I like it like, it landed like that, and I really like that. It could be this way, could be under the edge. No, I like it right out here. But uh, let's see, I want to do something with this right here, this little piece. I wonder if I can cut up more up here. And then cut over just this circle. And in between those two circles. And then over around this circle a little more. There was just a lot of you know, weirdness in between those two circles there. That might look a little better. Just a random kind of look. I like that. That is so, I like it. I love it, actually. <laughs> that looks so cool. So you've got, I've got my Christmas trees down here. I'll have this up here. I can put some candy canes all along the side here. So, or and I can move my candy canes around every which way. Oh, I like that better. Instead of having upside down, kind of back and forth, maybe along the edge. And then I could, if I want to, write something here. I can write on here words, uh, Christmas words or something. So uh, I've used up some more 
scraps and uh, you know this page is still developing I don't know what else I might just leave it like that or I could put a background under it no I like it like that on the cranberry paper these colors it, it's like uh, the same it's burgundy a darker burgundy on the on the paper so it goes really well with this with my cranberry paper so okay I think I'm gonna leave it like this not sure how long I've been on here but I do have to get ready for work so this is probably a perfect place to leave it I'm gonna leave it right here like this I sometimes I like to do that uh, with something I'm not sure about it I'll leave it like here I placed it but I haven't glued it down so I'll leave it right here so that when I walk back into my craft room after work tonight it'll be sitting here I'll be like Oh, I love that, or oh, I got a no, I don't like that type of thing. So, you know, I'll, I'll do some adjustments tonight, and uh, we're still on day number six, so I could take until tomorrow to decide as far as uh, my own, you know, time parameters and what I what I'm thinking about this since it's really almost done. I'm considering it almost done anyway. I can finish candy canes here, glue this down, uh, and see what else I want to do, and uh, just. You know finish it up tonight so or tomorrow morning so okay I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna let you go and I'll see you all tomorrow I hope you enjoyed my December dailies today the two days and I'll see you next time have a great day happy crafting